Hello, internet friends. I know, these glasses are amazing. They make me look like I'm straight out of the matrix. Today, I am meeting my mom at the mall. Feels a little weird to be at the mall. <laughs> this is downtown Summerlin that I'm going to. One of the main things that I feel like I missed out on for the last, I don't know, however many years was going to shopping malls and seeing brand names. It is always fascinating just to window shop and just see what's out there, especially considering my career is like selling clothes. So uh, it's pretty important sometimes to, you know, keep up with the Joneses and just see what's out there. Man, I just want to keep doing this. But yeah, welcome to the suburbs. I don't even know where she is. I like have to just strategically try and look for her. Malls are big. Step one of navigating a mall, figure it out. It's a weird one. This is like an outdoor mall. So half the stuff is outdoor, half the stuff is indoor. I don't even know where she is. <laughs> Okay, so a while back when I was in here, they had a bunch of vintage designer handbags and they are still here. That one is just absolutely stunning. Little Hermes. To be honest with you, I don't even know enough about designer handbags to tell you like what names these are, but I just think it's really cool that they're selling vintage designer here now. show you. This is kind of a nice way to see like firsthand you know, what kind of condition the bag is in. These are so cute. If I didn't think this was going to kill my shoulders, I would be interested in it. Well, they have this. And then they have a fanny pack. Ooh. Oh, they have Whoa. What was that lady's name? Vanna White? Do you want to do a Vanna White? No. <laughs> These are cute. Even that one looks like it would kill my shoulders. Story of my life. What are these prices? $5.95? $4.95? That's not bad. That's not terrible. But we could get a discount. Oh, it's so heavy. One of these days, I'm gonna become a Disney vlogger and it's gonna weird everybody out, except for my family. <laughs> They're gonna be like, yep, it makes sense. It makes total sense. Everybody else on the internet though is gonna be like, wait, what? She turned into what? <laughs> Very farm real vibes. We are in the land of farm real. Mm. 
daily practice. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Ooh, totally unexpected. The brand is Conditions Apply. Talking to YouTube. <laughs> That's okay. Love the label. There's so many brands that I like. Until I come to places like this, I don't even know about it. them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen that at the thrift store and I passed it up. mom a hard time right now because she always loved going to the Grove in LA and I feel like this place is honestly better than the Grove and it's so close to where she lives she doesn't have to travel like 300 miles to get there honestly I think this place is better than the Grove but you did make a good point she said you get the famous people at the Grove which is true well, we might get them here too but you just don't know yeah that's true bye See you later. Bye. Hello. Let's talk about all the things that I picked up today. Um, you guys know me, you guys know my vibe. I am not a shopping mall kind of person, so I didn't go crazy. Don't expect like a crazy good haul. But I did actually uh, treat myself today, which was kind of nice, it was a little fun. You guys could see I tried on those Free People Sunnies and I did pick these up because they were so cute. They were so stinking cute. And although I love the sunglasses that I was wearing, they don't really fit into my style as much as I thought they would. Uh, and they were also gifted to me by a friend. Shout out to my friend, Cynthia. You guys have seen her on this channel before. I miss her so dearly since I've moved from LA. These free people sunglasses, they weren't expensive. They were $25. So they are not like, oh, they do have the brand on there. I didn't expect them to have the brand engraved on there. That's kind of nice. Anyways, they're cute and they're very like 1970s, which I am definitely seeing the 1970s trend coming back so much. There was so much cool style just walking around there. Like in the store, the person helping me, um, she had these like really cute free people bell bottoms on. There was a girl walking around with a handkerchief on. My mom was the one who pointed it out to me that just how much all of that style is coming back around right now. These are the Sunnies. They're just super cute. I love, I love the shape of them. And then I went into Sephora. Sephora gets you every time. You know, all I needed was the brow gel. That was it. I used the, the Benefit brow gel, the gimme brow. I am not a big eyebrow person. I've never had my eyebrows done. I'm sure everybody online sitting there going like, we can tell. I'm just not a big makeup person at all. I keep it as basic as I possibly can. I haven't always kept it basic though, but I am in a point in my life, this is the best my skin has ever been, knock on wood. I'm just going to embrace the fact that like, I don't have to wear as much makeup as I used to. Uh, I used to have really bad skin. So I'm just embracing the fact that, you know, skin's clear, I'm good. But yeah, the um, gimme brow, gotta love that. And then this was an impulse purchase. And that's why I say Sephora, they get you every time. This is that lip injection by Too Faced. I see it all the time. I've never tried it. I've never tried it before. Maximum plump. God, I hate myself sometimes. And the very last thing, this is also an impulse purchase. Maybe this is why I don't go to shopping malls is because everything turns into an impulse purchase. That is literally the definition of a shopping mall, I think. I picked up these at Nordstrom Rack. It seems like such a silly purchase, but it was one of those things that I, I've talked about this so many times, but I get migraines. Now that I'm going to be editing even more, I think a lot of my migraines are linked to posture and which, like, did you guys see that? When I said posture, I was like, oh! <laughs> Link to posture and the blue light. So I think it's time. I think it's time that I just start trying stuff, you know, see what might help me. Uh, I'm not a glasses person. I haven't had my eyes checked in years though. Ooh, my lips are starting to tingle. I can feel that tingle. <laughs> it's happening. Is anything going on? Anything, anything, we're we good? Yeah. 
I don't see anything either. Well, I feel like a proper YouTuber now. I got the blue light glasses. Wow, this is burning. <laughs> Did not expect that. Um, okay, I might go take my makeup off here soon because, oh, ow. Just to tie this back around though to reselling and just what I do for a living, I do find it fascinating sometimes to go to the mall and just check out brands, just see what there is. Like at Anthropology, those brands that I was seeing, I had never heard of those before. Honestly, if I saw those at the thrift store, if it was cute enough, I would probably look it up, but I, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do the legwork. I have a theory with uh, reselling in general, and if you're a reseller yourself, you might relate to this, but whatever time period you started reselling is the time period that you're just constantly gonna be stuck in. And so it's like a, a necessity to go out of your way to learn these brands, because otherwise you're just never gonna keep up with the Joneses kind of thing. I started reselling in 2014. So the trends circa 2014, uh, no longer apply for the most part, although they are, you know, slowly becoming vintage. But my point is a lot of times we just get stuck in this phase of thinking that like those brands are what's selling. If you're in the fashion industry, it's just important to keep up with, uh, you know, what's going on. What's the latest and greatest. Anyways, uh, that is it for today's video. Uh, so glad that my mom could join me for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you guys enjoyed these, uh, little shopping mall adventures, I will definitely do more of them. Uh, I find it interesting to go there. It does end up costing me a little bit of money because hello, impulse purchases, you know? Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys. Did you see that? I checked the posture again. I will see you guys next time. Bye.